Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, yes, we're at the farm. Nate's back there getting his uh, biscuit sender. First things first, we're going to walk over, see how our corn situation is for the turkeys. Uh, before, actually, before we get started, yesterday, uh, Jen and I and Ella went for a drive over near Mitchell's Bay. Not only are people dealing with this situation we're in, the poor people in Mitchell's Bay are dealing with flooding. Have a look at this. Only ones who are supposed to get snow. This whole week, we get snow. Yeah, I'm sure they get a little water. But at least we don't get it until... Oh my um, God, can you that is. A lot of water there. So as if we don't have enough to deal with, or as if they don't have enough to deal with, they also gotta deal with the flooding. Having a look at the corn, boy, it's windy out here today. We had a lot of wind yesterday, some trees down and whatnot. They have been just eating this corn. Have a look at this. And yes, I know that's hard to see, but uh, that uh, 60, 70 pounds of corn I put out a couple weeks ago, pretty much gone but I'm not seeing any turkey tracks we had a lot of rain a lot of wind I'm guessing anything could be eating that corn anyway this is our version of social distancing yes Nate and I are out at the farm brought the biscuit sender brought some biscuits uh, we've been everybody's been cooped up so we thought we'd come out here and blow off some steam Okay, so what are we doing out here, you might ask? Just come out to play around with the camera, play around with the biscuit senders, blow off some steam, get out of the house. Pretty quiet out here. Not a lot going on, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna go over here, see what a two and three quarter inch, 12 gauge, number two, lead shot, there's a mouthful for you. Oh, and it's windy. Does to a rubber tractor tire. The problem we have is ricochet, so we're gonna have to set the small camera up. Hopefully Nate don't shoot the small camera. Anyway, here's what we're looking at. So there's the big tractor tire. I'm gonna set the small camera up over here on the ground. Hopefully he don't shoot it. And we're gonna see what that shot does to this tire. Also, cause we're a little bored. So that is it. So obviously a zombie riding a tractor coming at you. It'll be fine. Uh, zombie would be fine. You're not going to hurt that tire at all. It barely even marked up the outside of the tire. Oh, it's windy. It was it was almost 18 degrees the other day. It now feels like it's zero and windy. And here we go again. What? Send it. He don't care how cold it is. As long as he gets to pull the trigger. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be out here. Shot a little B-roll of the cars. Uh, just trying to get out of the house and get in some fresh air. Well, we did not spend a whole lot of time out here. It was a lot colder than I thought. Shot some video. Sent some biscuits. Got out of the house. Spent some time with Nate. 
He found his hat. He's taking his hat back. That's a Maroon's hat. Oh boy. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go down to the, we used to call it the Black Bridge. Um, it's not black anymore, it's rust, but. <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to cut that out. Anyway, I cut nothing out. <laughs> you need to. Anyway, we're going to go down to the bridge and have a look around there and walk out on the bridge and see what the river is doing. I think it's pretty muddy. Uh, hopefully summertime, we come back out here in the middle of summer. We're going to come down here and catch some catfish. And uh, we'll do some catch and cooks with that. But right now, it's a little chilly. Well, to show you how much times have changed, that's the old black bridge there. But if we look down this way here, back at... I guess I'd be about 12, 13 years old. We would walk these railroad tracks hunting rabbits. Probably about three or four miles down this side, cross over, and three or four miles back. Now, we're trespassing. No. We're trying not to trespass. But we want to get some cool pictures, so that's why we're here. All right, folks, we're back home at the coffee bar. I needed a coffee fix on the way home. So, I had two options. Tim Hortons or McDonald's. So I picked the lesser of two evils. So, before I end this video, I'm gonna give you a short coffee review. Kind of an impromptu coffee review. When I asked for the coffee, I really didn't ask for anything much. I just asked for a coffee with one milk. Can't really smell anything. You get kind of spoiled when you're making your own coffee, you're grinding your own beans. That's good coffee. It's fresh. It's just it's just plain all around better coffee. Plus, when you buy your beans from, well, most of my beans, oh, should say most, all my beans come from Colonial Coffee in Windsor. That is not a sponsor, by the way. That's just where I get my beans because they have quite a selection. Pretty close to a commercial, eh? Anyway, when you buy your beans fresh, fresh roasted, and you grind them, you just get a much better cup of coffee. Even coming out of a Keurig, it is a much better cup of coffee. So, McDonald's, here we go. Again, the smell, really nothing on the smell. It's not bad. Now I got this coffee in Chatham, drove 20 minutes home. It's still steaming hot. Can you see the steam on there? I don't think you can see the steam. It's still hot, so I'll give them that much. If you're in a pinch, go ahead and get yourself a McDonald's coffee. If you're not in a pinch, which I really wasn't in a pinch. I should have waited till I got home. And by the way, I went through the drive-thru. They're, they're not open. You can't go in. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Nate and I wanted to get out and blow some stink off. Shot the gun a little bit. Shot some B-roll. Um, just to get out of the house to get some fresh air. Not a whole lot, but it's kind of how we're working in this quarantine business. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just get out and get some fresh air. Um, stay home and grind your own fresh coffee. I'm going to drink this only because I paid for it. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe. Later.